Hey guys, welcome back. I just picked up the uh, DJI Avada yesterday at Best Buy for the full retail price because I'm a retail price kind of guy, I guess. Um, and today I'm gonna take it out for my first manual mode flight. Uh, I'm pretty new to FPV. I've been doing it for probably three weeks, maybe. Um, got about 40 hours in the simulator, but I'm hoping I don't crash this thing too hard. So come along with me, let's go. So this did not come with the kit. This was a separate purchase. It came with a motion controller, but I'm gonna use this controller. So it's like a $200 controller. They're pretty cool though. You know, it works in a lift off, which is what I use for FPV simulations. So I'm gonna use that controller. I got the, the drone itself, the battery's already in there. Been fully charged up. And then I have the goggles too, because it, I, they, I got the Pro View combo DJ I bought it from Best Buy. A little bit more, but I wanted the newer goggles. So yeah, so let's uh, get everything set up, ready to go. I'm gonna put the goggles on and turn those on. Turn them on, there's a switch here on the battery. You double press that, doop, doop, and then it comes on. So getting these goggles too on, I can see the screen now. I can also turn on the controller as well. Same thing, you press the power button twice, turn that on. Now on the goggles, you do have to turn on manual mode. So I'm gonna do that now. Let me turn the drone on first. If I can find the power button, let's see. Okay, power button. So double press that too, turn it on. There we go. Just gonna put that here on the, on the ground go back into here and let's see what we can find okay so it's under controller button customizations custom mode and then manual mode and it says are you experienced ish okay cool 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 okay all right so I'm going to put this into manual mode Oh, you have to be taken off to go into manual mode. Okay, so I'm gonna power it on. Get up in the air. And now I'm in manual mode. All right, full manual now. Apologies for the lack of footage in some spots. Uh, I want to give you guys an authentic experience for my first flight, and that it, that means not knowing what I'm doing, so I didn't turn on the uh, DVR for the goggles at this point. That did uh, not go as <laughs> expected. I didn't know how to turn the the motor off so let's try that again <coughs> okay let's see here I want to make some changes to the camera, so I want to turn this to I want to turn off the image stabilization. Let's try this. Let's try this one more time. Drone still good as new. <laughs> Thankfully, this thing made to take a beating. It's a record button. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Let's do this. All right, here we go. Let's start recording now. There we go, now we're flying. 
looks insane. So I have used analog FPV and wasn't a fan of it. This is like night and day difference, my goodness. Wow. This is really, really cool. Yeah, first impressions of this are amazing. This thing, this thing is very nice. Manual mode is pretty cool too, it's pretty fast. Like I said, I've, I've done some uh, FPV simulation, I'm not an expert, but I can definitely keep the aircraft in the air and do a few tricks. Nothing too fancy, but this is very cool. Not sure why I'm getting the remote control stick error down there, but it is what it is. The range on this thing is insane as well. Like it can go forever. Not forever, but pretty far away. Do some vehicle chase scenes. Pitch them a little faster. Getting used to the controls here. For some reason, I can't dive down very well. Not sure what's up with that. No control stick error. Why is that? So first impressions of the DJI Vado, it's pretty cool. Um, for some reason, it feels like the pitch just is kind of weird on mine. So I'm gonna do some research and see why that is. Hey guys, it's Editor Tech Dude here. I was uh, doing some research and apparently there is a setting called altitude limit that does affect the pitch, which makes it to where you can't dive or go fast. So I'm gonna turn that off and fly again in the future. And hopefully that fixes the issue, but just wanted to let you know I found that, thanks. Overall, it's transmission super clear to the goggles. It looks really nice. Um, I'm excited to, to play with it and uh, bring you guys more content about it. So hope you guys like this video. See you next time.